Thursday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals, but none proved to be the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. The man and his wife were both naked, yet they felt no shame. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm The response is, Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about it, but he could not escape notice. Soon a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, For saying this, you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. The Gospel of the Lord. Thursday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time. The first reading comes from Genesis 2, 18-25. In this passage we hear about the creation of Eve, how God thought it wasn't right that man should be alone, and so first he creates the wild animals, and Adam is told to name the animals. Now by naming the animals, it's a sign that he has authority over those animals. He names them, but none of them are appropriate to be a partner for the man. So God takes a rib from Adam and forms it into Eve. Man and woman are made for each other. In fact, in some of the ancient Jewish legends, they speak about how man and woman were originally one creature, and that creature was split down the middle. And that means that men and women need each other to complete each other. That's somewhat of the idea that we find here. And the band proclaims, At last flesh of my flesh and bone of my bones. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife. Notice it's the man who leaves his family and goes to the woman's tribe. This is probably a remnant of when Israel was more matriarchal. At the time this passage was written, that wasn't the case. That in fact, women would leave their families and join the man's family. But there is a remnant of the idea of a matriarchal society from the fact that to be a Jew, you have to have a mother who's a Jew, not a father. Descendants in Judaism is matriarchal. And so here we see the story of how the first woman was created, and they belong to each other, they need each other. 
After their creation, they're both naked, but they feel no shame. So they're living in a primitive innocence that sin has not yet entered into the world. The Gospel is from Mark 7, 24-30. Jesus is in the district of Tyre. Now that's in what today is Lebanon. It's pagan territory. And a Syrophoenician woman who's pagan comes up to Jesus and asks him to drive the demon out for her daughter. Jesus at first treats her a bit harshly, says it's not right to take the food of children and throw it to the dogs. He's come to heal the children of Israel. And dogs is a very derogatory phrase. Dogs were considered unclean animals because they ate carrion. So to be called a dog, even today is bad, but it was even worse in the time of Jesus. Is this an example of racial prejudice or is it an example of Jesus using a saying that's common in his day? It's not really clear. What is clear is that the woman responds with a little bit of chutzpah, a little bit of nerviness. And she says, even the dogs get the scraps that are left by the children. And Jesus likes that. He says, for saying this, you may go. The demons has gone out of your daughter. Notice this woman, who should have been a bit put off by what Jesus said, instead expresses her faith in the authority of Jesus. This is a pagan. In the past chapter, we've been hearing about how Jesus has difficulty with the leaders of the Jews. He considers the Pharisees to be a bit hypocritical. We heard how Jesus wasn't accepted in the synagogue of his hometown. People said, who does he think he is? On the contrary, the pagans are ready to accept him because they need his message. They recognize the bankruptcy of their hearts and they reach out to him when he approaches. Very often, it's those that we would judge harshly who are most ready to accept the fact that they need the love of God in order to survive. And may God bless us.